Now that I knew what I was facing, the environment became even wilder and stranger. Like it was no longer even bothering to pretend that things were normal. Welcome back to Let's Play The Writer, the DLC chapter for Alan Wake. Again! I'm Burning Dog Face. And I'm having a hell of a time making my way through the dark place because... Well, we're in the sky, and because the Taken are everywhere. Hell yeah, they're like depth charges. They actually looked like barrels, didn't they? Those uh, old tiny depth charges. Oh hell! That's still a lot of them. Are there any rolls left up here? Me, there's so many. Oh, oh, it refreshed. Ah, hell. Damn it, I thought that would be one of those unfinished barrels that still exploded for some reason. Oh, there is one there. God damn it! Man! Fuck these guys, seriously. Alright, one more time. Now what I was facing, the environment became <laughs> even wilder and stranger. Like it was no longer even bothering to pretend that things were normal. Yeah, I'm. by the way, I don't know if anyone ha hadn't made the connection yet, but I'm pretty sure that Zane's poem from the beginning was about uh, the dark place. Found it for uh, posterity's sake. For he did not know that beyond the lake he called home lies a deeper, darker ocean green, where waves are both wilder and more serene. To its ports I've been. To its ports I've been. Huh, I thought it was to its shores I've been. How embarrassing. I'll have to rename the, uh, the credits episode. Huh! The more you know. The, uh, Remedy would later use the, the, the that poem, uh, you know, the waves are both wilder and more serene. I have mentioned this, uh, to name the characters of Beth Wilder and Paul Serene from, uh, Quantum Break. That motherfucker just stepped out from behind a tree. Fire! Oh, this is gonna be good. What happens if I touch it? You know, let's not find out. It's rolling. Perfect. Yes, good. Good! Oh, it's going the wrong way. Oh, perfect! Oh, hell, that's perfect. Fuck me! No! And we're running. Maybe this will help your mood. Uh 
Okay, that works too. I just shot that guy in the face with a shotgun, and he tilted his head back and flinched. Fuck! I know they're not human anymore, but... God damn, even without the darkness, what are these things made of? Oh. No! Oh god, there's so many! Oh, we're hosed. Come get some. Hey, that's a, that solves a lot of that problem. Let's get the fuck out of here before they start coming back. Oh. Sharp turn. What, up the rock? Oh, right, yeah, the hill. I knew that. Ha ha ha, shut up. <laughs> oh, that is only two shells. Great! I guess I was supposed to run over here before I engage those guys. I'm not saying anything to listen for uh, copies of the game. Night Springs is an anthology show. Every episode is about a different story. So, how do you make a video game? Ah, fuck it. Oh! Only one of them blew up. Okay. I don't think that's even video game logic. You know, people are always talking about, oh, you know, if you shoot a barrel of fuel with a, with a bullet, the bullet's just going to go into the barrel and do nothing. You'd have to be using incendiary rounds for it to actually blow up. Well... I feel like if you set off a fucking explosion right next to the barrel, that would probably do the trick. Oh, okay, sure. Excellent. Good. Still not a full... Well, it's not a mag or a clip, it's just a bunch of loose shells, so I guess it's not a full load. I thought Alan actually was referencing the poem earlier when he said, you know, oh, it's a, uh, the dark place is an, uh, another, an otherworldly uh, prison beyond the shores of our world. So I thought that was a nod to it. Huh. Beyond the lake you call home. Man, what? Alright. I do kind of miss Barry. I, 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 you know, I don't. I guess you don't need him anymore, huh? Oh fuck! Fuck! That's so many. I'm not really sure you needed to bring the smashed cop car with it, but okay, thanks. Oh, I get it. Fireworks. <sighs> Actually, I wanted to check on something. No, I guess I imagined that. 
See, I thought I heard the door closing behind me, but that would be weird because... Why? I already can't go back there. All right. I, hmm. If I had unlimited ammo like in control, I would fire into this thing and then make a joke about it being fire in the hole. Okay, and I go. Oh, no. I do have to get it from here, I guess. All right, if that's not it, then... Well, I can't crouch. Can I get up there? Maybe I'm missing something. I couldn't reach the word with my flashlight. There had to be another way to trigger it. Oh! Fuck! That's really clever. I just got that. The only reason that they would give me unlimited flares is because I need to drop a flare down there. That is not what I thought was going to happen, but I'll take it. Oh, only one of them works. Weird. So, you were behind this all along, shopping cart. I was expecting the skids. <laughs> oh! Good. All right, what does other Alan have to say for himself? Well, that's ominous. I mean, your feet would be slipping all over the place in real life, but you know. I'm not going to complain, they're not doing that. <laughs> Holy shit, I can see nothing. Keep these assholes at bay. Seems like a good investment of these. Bring it! I didn't even realize there was a thing over here. Shit. You know, before I found out that I did get the achievement for the signal, I was worried that I was going to have to, uh... redo the boss fight against the TV abomination in order to get it. Well, if I had to guess, I'd say it's probably the lighted hole in the ground. Heading back down, but what does that even mean? <laughs> what? Oh, it's just garbage. It's not ammo. Quake was forced to run through a maze, hopelessly sprinting in the wheel. Never getting anywhere. His life in miniature. It was useless. Man. What kind of self-loathing issues must he have been covering up? Would it even make a difference if you know about them? Oh! Now what? 
Are you goddamn kidding me? Okay, it's a fun house version of Alan's apartment. Great. Can I just step off the ride? No. Press B to make a prank call. Oh, come on! How does the TV not have a copy of the game next to it? Well, I was starting to say earlier, what do, you, what do you do as a game for something like the Twilight Zone? I guess it would have to be, like, a, a mini-game collection or something? Or each mini-game is inspired by an episode or... S I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how you do that. Oh crap. Okay, this is bad. Oh, awesome! Wake! Oh, fuck. Okay, no dilly-dallying. was forced to run through a maze. Oh, I get it, yeah. Hopelessly sprinting in the wheel. Never getting anywhere. His life in miniature. It was useless. It's fucked up. Oh, now what? Ah, gotta catch up. Come on, man, get up the damn stairs. And that was pretty steep, admittedly. I think I might give this one a moment. Ah. Uh. the echo of him diving in after Alice. He even had the tiny flashlight and everything. I was wondering if I get an achievement or something for tapping out only wake, as opposed to any of those other keys. Alright, I'm just gonna say it. I hadn't said it before, but... Alan, I know you're very proud of your, uh, of your writing and your career, but, uh... Honestly, it's a little bit pretentious that it's 2010 and you and you insist on writing your works on a typewriter. I'm just going to throw that out there. <laughs> oh. I mean, you could get the same effect of a manual keyboard if you... Uh, no thank you. Why are we in the police station now? Shame what happened to that guy. I felt really bad about that. That Alan sacrificed him just because he didn't know who he was, essentially. Oh no! Lagging behind. And now we're in the power station, of course. Oh hell!
It's not the same place! Ah! Fuck. Okay, that wasn't the idea. Or maybe this is the same place. I don't even know anymore! If I sit here long enough, this will become a door. This isn't weird at all. Oh, hey, look, the lodge. I could see my house from here. If it hadn't disappeared in the 70s. Well, that's much safer. Oh, fuck, it's the well-lit room. Nuts. Well, that works. I was expecting to have to climb up the ceiling, but whatever. Oh yeah, of course the clicker isn't there. The darkness can't touch anything inside a shoebox. So it doesn't know what was in the shoebox. An elevator? Sure, why not? <laughs> Next There's... stop, Sanity. You're doing well. Keep going. It's hard to make sense of this place. It's a dream. This is a vast place, home to forces and beings that are completely alien. The Dark Presence. Yes. I don't know what happened to it after your final encounter. Is there any way out of here? Sometimes transmissions can be sent between worlds. You've done this yourself. But to actually leave the Dark Place, I haven't found a way. There was a page in American Nightmare where Alan muses. Stucky's gas station. Oh. Not something I particularly wanted to see, but obviously I wasn't the one in the driver's seat. He notes that, uh, although it's unbelievably difficult to get out of the dark place, uh, radio transmissions and dreams can freely pass between one and the other. Uh,. Like I said, I think I mentioned this before, uh, that people argue over whether or not American Nightmare is even canon, and one of the theories is that it's a dream that Alan put in Barry's head, so I'd imagine it's like a message to tell him something at the very least. And like I said, personally, I choose to believe that it was, uh, Alan's, uh... Huh. That it wasn't as some it was something that Alan actually experienced, it's just not as, uh... Well, lasting, as it might seem, he said, vaguely. There was a checkpoint just there. So, uh... Oh, go, there's booms outside again. Lovely. <laughs> Ammo check? Yeah, that's what I thought. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I will see you on the next episode of Let's Play Alan Wake. We head out that door and fight the Taken around those booms. Just saying. Let's see, let's have a preview, see if I'm going to get anything out of that. I think there was some shotgun ammo in there. Cool, cool. Alright. Yeah, that'll about do it. Incontestably proven health benefits. I like that it's not a company or anything, it's just, you know, the concept of Nordic walking. Okay. Sorry, I just got distracted wondering if there's any significance to the numbers 4, 32, 8. You know, because it's Remedy, so anything could be significant. <laughs> I'm Burning Dogface, and I will see you on the next episode of Let's Play Alan... Sorry, of Let's Play The Writer, the DLC chapter for Alan Wake. Again! When we continue making our way through this hodgepodge of madness, and, uh... Try to get closer and closer to other Alan. Till then, stay in the light.